Um, I actually found this product during the, the worst period of my skin allergy, meaning that whatever sunscreen I put, right, it just flares up. Can I just say that was the worst period of his life? Yeah, actually I was telling them and I, I, I got a little bit depressed because yeah. I never had such bad skin before. I Three, two, one. I'm Yin. I'm Fiona. And in this episode, it has been a while. Mm -hmm. I think our last episode of 2021, we have been lazy. Busy. And lazy la. Looking beautiful, nonetheless. You know, you know last year, end of the year. <laughs> No one is traveling, it's just everyone is lazy. Yes, <laughs> I used yes. to put so many times. Yes. And I got COVID around <laughs> Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. I think we How want are you feeling? Much better. That's good. I think we really wanted to, you know, start our engine, yeah. but our engine is very hard to start. <laughs> but nonetheless, now that we're back, what are we yes. doing this week? So today? I think um, it's a topic that's very dear to our heart. It's really sunscreen. Yay! I think last we did sunscreen was probably a year plus ago. And we really thought it's time to do an updated list of our favourite sunscreens. Mm. Mm. So today we have six sunscreens. Yes, we do. Uh, I think the last couple, almost couple of years mm. that um, you know we have stick to the sunscreen that we've been using. Yes. We have discussed some of them. I think our <laughs> skin has changed. Uh, so I really want <laughs> to do a list that yes. we are truly impressed um, by this new six sunscreens that's right in front of us. Yeah, so maybe I, you want to share a little bit. I, I was a bit like when he said our skin has changed and I was a little like, uh, yes, it has. And I do for believe it's better. for the better. Yeah. Yes. Um, along the way, we've had our challenges, which is the reason why we had to switch the sunscreens up and then mm. try different things. Um, the last sunscreen episode, oh, right? Yeah. We have recommended a few. Yes. Maybe you talk about, you know, why those are no longer in our list. <laughs> no, it's, actually, it's fine. It doesn't suit us, doesn't mean it's bad. It's yeah. probably just, you know, um, as our skin has evolved. Yeah. Okay, let's just say that the sunscreens that we've recommended in the very first video, and you, if you have not had the chance to watch it, we'll put the mm -hmm. link uh, right below yeah. as well. You can check that out. Um, I will say that those sunscreen has been with myself for a very, very long period of time. Mm -hmm. I think the last uh, two years, a lot has changed because um, clearly, we're working from home. I think that's one of the first thing. Mm. So when I was working from home, I think I had a different requirement for the sunscreen that uh, I, I wanted. Yep. So particularly, I wanted sunscreen that also could double up as a moisturizer so I could mm. skip some steps. Yep, what about yep. you? I totally agree. I think the work yeah. from home has changed quite a lot of our mm. habits yeah. uh, and lifestyle routines. I think mm. for me, uh, apart from working from home, it's really, um, I always go to the gym the first thing yeah. I wake up in the morning. Yes. And... I just want to slap on the sunscreen and just mm. go out. Mm. And I also went through a, a, a period of uh, uh, allergies. Oh, yeah, but I we remember. Will, we'll talk about it in another episode. Yeah. Um, so that really get me to start looking for new sunscreen mm. where it doesn't sting um, the allergy. It doesn't trigger the allergy. And mm, I guess that really changes a lot. That really changes a lot. Mm. Um, and I'm so glad we, we had that change so-called in lifestyle, whether we wanted it or not. <laughs> but I think that change in lifestyle uh, really allowed us to explore new products. Mm. And today I'm actually quite excited to talk about this because when we were conceptualizing what we're going to say, right, or what we're going to do with it, we realized that there were so many brands out there with, that we have not tried before yep. and we were so surprised um, by the results and mm. also by the efficacy of these products, right? Yep. I'm going to start off with my recommendation. Mm. Uh, this sunscreen basically is something that we have talked about in the last video. Uh, it's from Supergoop. Uh, it is called the Mineral Matte Sunscreen. I think this is the only sunscreen. <laughs> That's a repeat on the list, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've not discarded. Mm. Uh, I think reason being is that um, I have oily skin. Mm. Uh, I think this is the most, most, most mattifying sunscreen I've ever, ever used. Um, there's a new packaging. I think if you remember last time, it was a blue cap. Yes, it is. So I think Supergo went through a sort of like a re... Not a rebranding, but just a repackaging. Mm. So I think this sunscreen uh, wasn't called Mineral Matte Screen. It was called something something mattifying one. Yeah, I, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, so I remember I bought like in bulk every time when I buy this sunscreen. I went through many tubes of this as well. Mm. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons I've been using less of this sunscreen, mm. it's not that it's bad. Mm. It's just that, you know, last time we have to go to office. Yeah. So this served the purpose of, you know, from day to night. Yeah, mattify yeah. the skin, sunscreen, sunblock, everything. But now work from home, right? <laughs> Every 
time I use this, I have to use a makeup remover. Uh, as simple uh, as that. Because it is um it is tinted, it's there's colour. Uh, okay. So I think at the end of the day at home, you just want something that's light to put on. Chew, so chew. I stop off don't use this as often except when I go out mm, for dinners whatsoever. Mm, mm. But the reason why I love this is still I would say highly recommended people with oily skin. Mm. Uh if you especially for me like T zone is very oily. If right. you want something that lasts throughout the whole day, slightly have a coverage. There's a color. This is still my go-to sunscreen. Mm. Okay, the next sunscreen we're going to talk about mm. is this one from Kiehl's. So this mm. is Kiehl's uh, Ultra Light Daily UV Defense. And this is actually uh, my very first tube. And uh, I'm actually all the way towards the end of this. Mm. So I'm not sure whether we're able to squeeze anything out for everyone to see later. So it's actually a white um, sunscreen, a non-tinted sunscreen. Uh, it doesn't have any smell to it. And um, the reason why I was drawn to this, because I was actually reading a lot of reviews. Um, a, a lot of people had, had very, very good reviews about this one, particularly it mm. being very lightweight um, and that it has uh, a little bit of a brightening effect and it doesn't sort of uh, meddle with whatever else you want to top up foundation so on and so forth um, yeah so I, I got this and I was uh, basically pleasantly surprised that the fact that it's really super lightweight and when I applied it, it really has that dewy skin effect that I want, that mm. I don't really have to do too much. Okay. Um, so usually with this one, um, I will just use this. And then after that, just um, conceal spot some of the areas that I have and then just powder on. And that's it. It basically can last me throughout the day, especially when I'm at home. Of course, if I'm going out, then I will have to do something else to it. But mm. other than that, if I'm just at home taking meetings, right, uh, this works perfectly. So, will you recommend for like dry skin, normal skin, oily skin? Uh, combination skin. Okay. I think normal to, to combination skin would be good. Uh, oily skin, I think this could work as well. But I think for dry skin, maybe normal not. Normal to Yeah, normal maybe normal to combi. To, yeah, normal okay. to combi skin. If you have dry skin, this might be a little too... You might need something richer. Let's mm, put it this way. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so, so the consistency is still slightly from medium, yeah. medium consistency. Yeah, Co medium also. consistency. Definitely not the runny type of a, a, a sunblock in that sense. Mm. Yeah, so it feels cream light, but it's not heavyweight cream. Okay, next to the third sunscreen that we have. Mm. Okay, this is really an unexpected, mm. really, really unexpected sunscreen. Um, it's actually the AHC Natural Perfection Pro Shoe. Okay. You can see from my face, I'm a mm. little bit like... Well, AHC. We have never talked about AHC before. I know. Um, I've tried the mask. Mm. Uh, it's quite a well-known, a uh, well-received brand yes. in Korea. Uh, yes. To give a little bit of background, uh, I think the brand actually um, so-called um, it start is uh, it got it got its popularity mm. uh, because it has a very strong range of eye cream. But this is really an unexpected gem that I found. Yeah, when you took it out just mm. now and placed it on the table, I'm uh, like. AHC. Mm. Uh, okay, so. You know, a lot of times sunscreen probably give you that white cast. A lot of people don't uh, like the white cast. But yes. I think white cast to me, it's um, it really depends how well you apply. Uh, sometimes white cast, right? Once you really uh, apply it, it well, massage it yeah, well, it actually skin. gives you a very nice glow. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Uh, this is probably the lightest sunscreen I've ever tried in my whole life. Lightest, even lighter than the La Roche Posay. Really? Mm. It is very light, uh, very fluid. You see, there's no white cast. It almost yeah. feels like you apply a lotion. Oh, yeah. What's, in, uh, what's interesting, not interesting, what is good about this uh, product is that mm. not only is UVA, UVB, it is also resistant to blue light and fine dust. Did you just say fine dust? Yeah, okay, but I can tell you now, nowadays, right, a lot of all this sunscreen, right, they always say fine dust, but I really don't know what that is. tell the dust also ever. We just, you know, when they say fine dust, it's like, oh, okay, no fine dust, but, <laughs> but I don't know how it works on fine dust. But what wow. I really love about this is that, uh, first of all, um, you realize that I really like things that is probably not very oily. Yeah. Because uh, in the long run, in under humid weather, you know when you secrete a lot of oil, but yada yada, yeah. it doesn't work for uh, especially skin that's oily like me. Yeah. Uh, this AHC is very light. Yeah. Light to a point, right? It almost feel like a light, a, a slightly thicker toner. Actually, it doesn't it doesn't feel like I apply anything on my yeah. hand? Not greasy. No white cast. It's just like a skin can. It is very great. Continue because yeah. I'm just going to my arm right <laughs> now. Uh, so what I love about this is that um, because after the bout of uh, the skin irritation, uh -huh. uh, my skin is very, very sensitive oh. to a few things. Uh, I think colorings. Uh, um, irritants. No, cannot. Cannot also? Mm. Wow. Immediately, it will flare up this oh, whole dear. patch. So this product, right, I can apply onto bare skin yeah. and it doesn't, doesn't trigger anything, which Actually, I love. 
actually, mm. it has a very light scent. Mm, but it's not it's, strong. It's in not a, way. a chemical vibe kind of yeah. scent. But it's very oh my god, it's it's it's, it's, it's light, so right? light. It's very light. I have to say, I would definitely go back to this again and again. This the is, price point is very complex. Yeah, how much is this? 30 something bucks. Really? Mm, it's very okay. Mm. I have to say this is probably my one of my best find this year. Mm. I'm impressed. Yeah, so AHC, something to consider. Yeah, so anyway, coming to my product, <laughs> I'm sold. Damn. Okay, anyway, coming to my product, this mm. is the one that I want to talk about, which is, uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but Biore. it's Biore UV, but this other Atlism. word here, uh, I'm not very sure how to pronounce that. I'm but, feeling um, they're inspired by atelism. Yeah, or atelism. <laughs> Uniqlo. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, SPF 50 PA++++. Um, this one was also quite a uh, surprise because uh, I think mm, my friend was working on this 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 brand. Mm -hmm. So I think they had quite a bit of uh, samples and so on and so forth. So my friend was just like, I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. So I like got two tubes of it. Right? I was like, ooh, some lot. Uh, so I started using on my face first. So if you are someone that has got very, very dry skin, but no you know, like like ir irritation to skin and all, I think this would be good because mm. it's actually quite rich um, but yet it's, how should I put it? It's it's rich but it's not oily. Milky. Okay, you, yeah, you actually, I'm also using this one. Uh, I have to say milky, in right? terms of the lightweightness, yeah. there's a fight like this too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this, if you're working out, um, I think this would be excellent because you really feel like you put on a very gao sunscreen uh, that really protects but at the same time, it doesn't sort of get in the way when you're doing your workout. Mm. Uh, so I was using this quite a fair bit first on the face first and after I ate, I realised it worked. Uh, it also worked with foundation so on and so forth mm. but I realised that when I put this on my skin, um, it it feels the best for me when I'm working mm. out. Because a lot of times when I work, work out, right, I actually don't like to put sunscreen on my body lah because it's very weird. Sometimes when you perspire, then you have the, the, sticky, yeah, the, the white stickiness. Yes, the white streaks yeah. and all. Mm. And then it's like when you're at the gym, the last thing you want is like appearing <laughs> next to, you know, someone and then you have like... like perspiring yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds quite good actually. <laughs> but yeah, the, the point is you, you don't want to look awkward, right? Mm. Uh, so this doesn't have that. So I've been using this um, actually mostly on my body okay. when I'm uh, working out, so on and so forth. Mm. So yeah, this is uh, another one that I gravitate towards uh, during this season. Okay, last two products for the day. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say I had a hard time finding this product. Hard time as in, um, I actually found this product during the, the worst period of my skin allergy, meaning that whatever sunscreen I put, right, it just flares up. Can I just say that was the worst period of this time? Yeah, actually I was telling them and I, I, I got a little bit depressed because yeah. I never had such bad skin before. I understand. Yeah, it's so yeah. bad to a point where I go and see the doctor, right? Mm. Yeah, he said, wow, your skin is very bad. <laughs> I, I, I feel you. Yeah. Um, because I right after you had the episode, then I you think, had your episode. Yeah, and then I yeah. had my episode as yeah. well. And then when so, I went to see the doctor, mm. it's like, Yen came and it was like the same as we yours. Take turns. <laughs> yeah. We take turns. So, uh, I, yeah, so it was very bad. Yeah. So, uh, um, you know, last time, uh, we use a lot of, I'm not, the brand, I still love it, the Roche Porcher. Yes. So I went to research, you know, uh, sunscreen for the most sensitive skin. Actually, La Roche Porcher is already for sensitive skin. Yeah, it but is. But I cannot. Once wow. I apply, right, wow, it oh, triggers the... and it bites and stings. Oh dear. It was the lightest sunscreen I've ever, ever used, but it still doesn't work. Okay. Um. So eventually, I found this uh, brand. It's under Shiseido. It's called D-Program. I've seen this. Mm. I've not used it. I'm I've seen a lot on YouTube, other uh, beauty vloggers, makeup mm. artists mm. recommend it, but I didn't want to buy because whenever they say product for sensitive, delicate skin, I'm like, yeah, not strong, I don't want. <laughs> you know, I just want it like... <clears throat> Give it to me. You know, yes, yes, one. yes. So like the very delicate, organic, I'm like, oh, waste my time. Like hit me with a passion. Yeah. So <laughs> unfortunately, we have reached a stage we need to have a little bit of delicate, you know, love. Also, D program, uh, D program is a very extensive range. I know. Um, the the foundation is that um, it is for delicate, sensitive skin. Yes. Uh, skin that is easily irritated by dust, pollutants, mm. um, and then. The whole idea is that even with the um, sensitive, delicate skin, right, you still need different cares like aging care, mm. dry care, whitening care. Yeah. Uh, so 
under this whole D program, they have this what they call as a all defense essence. Initially, when I saw this all defense essence, I thought it's just an essence serum. Yeah. It's not a sunblock, but it's how they position their sunblock. I think it's with the Japanese though, because this mm. is also an essence. Yeah. yeah. So basically, it is SPF 46, PA++++. Not mm. only it is against UVA, UVB, it is also against the fine particles, air pollutants, which... Maybe it's the in thing now, eh? I don't know. It propels or whatsoever. <laughs> um, love it because once I apply, nothing skin is not irritated by it. Oh, wow. The only thing initially I hated is the white cast. It has a very strong white cast. But I realized one thing is that That's as okay. I yeah, as I slowly apply massage it, it becomes a very nice glow. Uh, super oily, I have to stress, it's a very oily sunscreen. How, how does it work with your oily skin? I don't know, it just doesn't trigger and it gives a very nice glow. Hmm. Uh, oh, it has a bit of a like purple tint, mm, a bit which of helps a, to brighten your skin. It has this pollicin effect. Oh. I think a lot of guys won't like it, to be honest. Uh, but I love it because I think it is very good on very sensitive skin. Uh, even though it's oily, I think once you apply it well, let it sit for a while, it actually gives a very nice glow. Yeah, I, mm. I will say that. Okay, don't don't be sort of um you know shocked when you see like it comes out looking purple. Mm. Uh because when you apply it, it actually brightens up the skin. That's about yeah. it. It doesn't do anything else. Oh, and you don't look like that there are pearls on your skin. Correct. Actually, no, like, I don't see any. Yep. In fact, the uh, mm. UV essence come in two versions, the non-tinted, which is this one, and the tinted. I mean I I bought a new one. See, I love it so much. I bought so uh, many bottles. Um, but I thought what, that was for me. <laughs> if you want, you can. <laughs> Apparently, it's Japan sales number one. Oh. Yeah. So I think what is interesting is that uh, it really shoots. It says uh, foreign particles, house oh. dust, other allergic substances. I think good yeah. if you're working from home, right? Mm. Or in the office these days. Yeah. Does it um, fight against, against oh, okay, okay. It says that the separating film inside is, is formulated with this absorbing powder that instantly absorbs any airborne particles oh, wow. attached to the skin. And it's being neutralized, so it's harmless to the skin. So once again, um, I think if you are looking for something that's yeah. very uh, good for sensitive skin, I will highly recommend D program. So in fact, now I change all my skincare uh, to D program. Really? Mm, in the day, so I buy, I bought their toner, their lotion. I have to say, I really like oh. their whitening range. Really? Mm, not bad. Mm, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I started buying their trial kit. They have a little trial kit that's sold at Watson. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah, so I tried the whitening one and I loved it. Okay, la, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad that you talked about this today because we briefly mentioned about this brand when we saw it, you mm. know, over, over the counter and all. Yep. And then he was like, okay, I'm going to try one product. And we say, you know, he's like into the whole range. So mm. I guess I'm going somewhere mm. after this to buy. <laughs> but I think <laughs> this this price, oh, sorry, this brand is lightly on the mid high pricing. How much is this? This is 48. For? Oh, this is. Wow, so I bought sweet. it when Watson has sale um, for 25% or 30% so I, I stopped them up. I'm surprised this is 48. Mm. Yeah, the, their lotion, their moisturizer is like 50 something, 60 in price range. Yeah. Wow, it's this is 48. High. This is like slightly above 50. Okay. Oh wow, okay, yeah. okay. Hmm, alright. So there's the program. Two good finds. Mm. Okay, and off to the last sunscreen we want to recommend today. Yes, and it'll be from me. And mm. the last one, I will say that it's been something I've been using for the past uh, two months and I'm really loving it because for me, I know it's going to sound lazy because I really am into products that can do a lot of things in just one tube. So it really helps me to save time. And I don't know why this concept of saving time is so important these days because... <laughs> we are just lazy. Ah, This is a la uh, lazy episode. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a lazy episode. But no, I, I think the beauty of products like that is that if it's multifunctional mm. and it works, I mean, why not, right? Yep. So this is the one from, it's also another brand from Japan. Oh, I realize wow. we have a lot of Japanese brands today. Oh, yeah. um, so this is Polar Cosmetics from uh, Japan. So this is called, well, they call it a white shot. Uh, but really, it's not a whitening product. I would say it's a brightening product in that sense. Uh, so when I first got this and I looked at this, I was just like, oh my God, so small. And then in Japanese, I can't <laughs> see. I'm like, oh my God, right? So anyway, thank God for the internet. I, I went on and I, and I basically Googled a little bit more about this and then I realized that this is actually a moisturizer uh, it also has got uh, essence for brightening so it, it doubles up as a skincare on top of it um, being a uh, clearly a moisturizer skincare and then it also has got SPF um, I think it's 50, 50. plus plus yeah plus 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 uh, so in that sense um, 
I basically skip, well, I won't say skip, but this is essentially my moisturizer as well as my uh, sunscreen that I use in the day. Mm. So I essentially skip one step. Uh. So this one product, I put it on and that's it. I go on with my foundation uh, and it works beautifully. Uh, Texture-wise, it's on a, I would say it's on the richer side. Creamy. Yeah, it's, it's creamy. Yeah. Uh, so in that sense, uh, if I suppose you have oily skin, uh, you might want to be uh, a little bit more, um, a little goes a long way for you, I believe. Mm. Uh, so for myself, because it doubles up as a sun screen, right? So I also have this concept and I don't think it's the right concept to have. Like the more you apply, maybe that's where the sunscreen is going to work a lot better. But have to say it. Does it? Okay, <laughs> I've read a report. Um, they say that um, the general public, when they are applying sunscreen, actually they don't apply enough. Uh, so when you don't apply enough, actually it doesn't have any efficacy. Not it doesn't have like doesn't have the its full okay. efficacy. But right, it, it's a lot like They say it's twenty cent coin. That's what they say, right? Twenty yeah, cent coin. So you what can I become like wild young leh. I know. So what yeah. I do with this is that. Uh, so this is my application. Uh, sort of uh, tip and technique. Uh, if it you can try if it works for you. So I go on with a very thin layer first, mm. right? And then after that, I go grab coffee, whatever I need to do in the day, okay. right? And then blow my hair or whatsoever. And then after that, I come on and I apply a second layer. Mm. And then after that, I do my makeup. Okay. Yeah. So in that sense, it doesn't feel like at one time you go a lot on your skin, lah. You know, but you just kind of stagger it so that it allows the skin to also absorb to set that in. And then after that, you apply a second layer. Mm. So in that sense, I will say that um, then it's a bit. Uh, it can be a bit expensive, like That means you're applying a lot of sunblock. But let me just say that it's all worth it. Okay. It really is all worth it. Please be very serious with your sunscreen yep. right that's very important yeah so this is the one that i've been gravitating towards for the last um two months mm. yeah so yep so one product all in one great uh we really hope that you know um, all the six sunscreen there's one mm. for everyone be it your dry skin combination skin you know delicate skin yep. oily skin and i think at the end of the day um you know we really have different lifestyle yeah and i think that uh, you have to pick something that's suitable for your skin and your lifestyle yeah and one last tip um don't just stick to one product not because that product doesn't work or work or whatever mm. that may be yeah. uh it's really because we evolve right so when your lifestyle change your skin changes so you you really have to you know try and find different things that work for you so hopefully uh with this episode uh it inspires you to go out there and try new things as well if you like what you have watched remember to subscribe the channel and we will see you in our next episode. See ya! Bye!